All right, you guys, I'm gonna try another short video. I might put all three up, but I there I am. There's uh, NBC, and uh, uh, there's traffic. So the police have come, and and there's pressure not to do this video, even this though this is what it's CNBC does for their living. To the extent that um, NBC hasn't watched my other videos, I encourage. CNBC to cover for on their business desk, maybe Michelle Lee, the, the outright fraud that's going on in the American markets that's stealing the American dream and the capital formation ability of the markets from both the CEO side, but also from investors in the blue collar, middle class, upper middle class. These guys here, You'll see their name, the Kramers, uh, toxic lenders, but then they short stocks into oblivion. And Michelle Lee, if you could check uh, Kurt Kramer, C-U-R-T-K-R-A-M-E-R plus S-E-C on Google, it's all out there. You can see the, the filings. Um, you can go to, um, uh, Twitter, GTII, and you can get a whole slew of people you could interview that have been, are serious people. They've been involved in this for a little over two years. 160 million shares that don't exist of GTII sold, and you and that's that's real manipulation of the market, not the Reddit boys. That's manipulation. And here's the cavalcade of criminals right here. So um, I'm, I'm up here from DC. We're doing what we can do to fight for the shareholders. We would love a little help from the press and certainly we would love help from the regulatory bodies. We're not just focused on one stock because we're trying to take advantage of the system ourselves but where are we supposed to start? We have two stocks here, Finger and uh, GTII, but this is happening in the entire industry. These guys, the Kramers, are killing company after company after company after company, and the press doesn't do anything about it. But they're not the only people. They're not the only ones shorting stocks and, and uh, uh, illegally taking advantage of regulation show manipulating, spoofing, uh, uh, just creating havoc in the U.S. financial markets. All right, I'm going to leave it there. You can always reach out to me as well, Michelle Lee, and uh, I really appreciate that you listen. Thank you.